Key Concept 4.1 was all about the new society Americans were building in the 1800s. Key Concept 4.2 is all about the economy. It says, innovations in technology, agriculture, and commerce powerfully accelerated the American economy, precipitating profound changes to U.S. society and to national and regional identities. Okay, so this is a typical college board sentence. It's huge, it's got a lot of ideas in it. But basically what it's saying is, look, in the early 1800s, America was transforming. It was transforming from an agricultural society to a manufacturing society. And just like we saw in period one, when you move from a nomadic society to a sedentary society, society itself changes. The laws, habits, and customs that everyone's used to are defined by the way that people live, by the way the economies run. It's the same thing during this industrial period. As people shift from farms to factories, all the rules change. Now, historians have used two terms to describe this period. The first is called a market revolution because it's the creation of a more complex market. Goods are being traded over longer distances, and there's a wider variety of these goods. The second is industrial revolution. The first industrial revolution began in Europe in the 1750s, and it started spreading to the U.S. during this period. And all these economic changes were driven by new inventions, things like the steam engine and textile machinery and the telegraph. And those are what really allowed the market revolution and the industrial revolution to take off everywhere in the American North. Now, American politicians responded to this. They said, let's build our infrastructure. Let's invest in railroads and roads and canals. The famous headliner of this is Henry Clay's American system. And you should really study this for the AP exam. In the 1820s, he spent a ton of money funding roads and canals, the Erie Canal in 1825 is a good example, and they helped enable faster trade and the better movement of goods around the country. So look, roads and canals are not particularly interesting, but they're important because they help lay the foundation for a unified America. They also laid the foundation for a divided America because as the North developed with a more complex market, more factories, more roads and canals, it became very different from the South. One of these differences was new immigrant groups. So as Germans and Irish came into the North, they brought new ideas and customs. That's what they mean when they say precipitating profound changes to U.S. society and to national and regional identities. Precipitating is just a fancy way of saying bringing about. And what this period brought about was a new kind of identity, both in the North and the South. Now, the South was organized around large plantations that were fueled by slave labor, but the North was organized around this new factory system, all these roads, canals, new banking institutions. And as immigrants flooded into cities, they transformed the identity of the region. By the time the Civil War rolls around in the 1860s, you could say that the North and South are not only different economically, they're different culturally, socially, and even religiously. This significant tension built up over this time period. We can see it in the politics. So, Henry Clay's American system and the tariff of abominations in 1828 weren't neutral. Anything that was favoring a manufacturing economy was seen to be favoring the North. As the key concept says, one of the main reasons these economic changes are so important is that they actually change the fabric of society itself. It was during these years that we see, for the first time, a major increase in standard of living. We see a new middle class. We see women leaving the home to get wages outside of the home for basically the first time in Western history, let alone American history. As women worked outside of the home, there was a clear distinction between the public world of work and the private world of the home. When women got the right to vote in the early 20th century, it was because of a foundation laid during this time period. When women joined the workforce in mass after World War II, it was because of the foundation laid in this time period. As you're studying content for time period four, from 1800 to 1848, remember key concept 4.2. It's all about how the economy began to transform American society, creating a new middle class, new positions for women, and the fundamental divisions between the North and the South.